numbers and data on all these cattle. Okay, and kind of like if you were playing, uh, uh, what is uh, the major league, uh, fantasy league, you want to use those statistics to your advantage to know which players to put on your team and how they're going to potentially perform that next year. Because the cow-calf business has such a slow turnaround time, because it takes nine months to gestate and almost another year and a half until you get to harvest, it could be up to two, three, and four years before you realized you made a mistake in your selection pressures. So we're able to use this data to find the cattle that we want to use. For example, this calf with the green tag out of total, his data tells me that he should be a growthier calf compared to the big eye calf who only has a 97 for yearling weight. Okay, we can do that for all kinds of different traits. We can do that for docility, okay? We talked about uh, with the last group how uh, temperament can affect profitability and how it can affect meat quality. We have data that shows which sire groups and which cow lines and families the animals would be uh, more docile or uh, calves that could have temperament problems. So we use these tools to our advantage and as Mark said, we don't only use statistics. We, there's still an art to making better cattle. You blend the phenotype, what the cattle actually look like, along with the data to make genetically superior calf breed. Obviously, we probably still like to use this green tag calf. He's a bigger, growthier, stouter, better looking, better performing calf, and actually his data tells us that he's that way too. So, as I mentioned, this, we're not doing it the way that our grandparents did it. It's really neat data that we're using to roll over generations much, much faster, and we're using things like DNA technology to help increase the accuracies and reliabilities of this data that we use to create these animals. You want to just explain what each, you know, like calving cheese sure. and all that? I won't that. go through every one of these, but as you look down to this data, um, there's production traits, there's maternal traits, and carcass traits, okay? And then there's the dollar values at the bottom, which is essentially an index of, of some of these traits combined. Uh, what traits most cow-calf producers look at is Cavanese Direct, CED, which is an assumption of how that bull when bred to heifers will calve. If they're easier, if they can have a calf easier, or if they're going to create bigger calves and have problems at calving time. Because if you put all the carcass, marbling, merit, all these other traits all in the world, and yet that calf's too big uh, at birth and the mother can't have it, it's all for naught. Right? So it's, it's, a, it's a balance of yeah, all of these sections. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Probably the most, next most important trait, most guys sell their calf crop at weaning time, okay? somewhere around 200, 300 uh, days old, they'll sell the calves. So when you see WW, that stands for wean weight, okay? And they look for a higher wean weight value compared to another sire group. Same way for yearling weight in the next column. Then we also have our carcass traits for marbling, ribeye, carcass weight, things like that, okay? And then there's uh, some other things like milk, uh, maternal height, maternal weight. Uh, we can essentially, if you can measure it, we're gonna put it on here for our breeders to make selection decisions and tools with. We have, guys, I get a chuckle out of this, we have a scrotal circumference, EPD, right? <laughs> Why on earth SC. would we measure scrotal circumference? Because it's an indication of fertility. It's an indication of a bull's daughter's fertility. And, and so we can make selection pressure and select bulls because I can't, if say these two were bulls and they're, they're not, but I couldn't just look at these two bulls and tell you which one is going to be more fertile or his daughter is going to be more fertile. And so we, we have to lean on these traits to, uh, to, to make our selections uh, a lot more accurate.